Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects plugin quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be giving you a quick tip about the new version of After Effects CC 2022, which allows you to view the frame render time for any of your layers with uh, effects applied to it or without. So if I apply one of the effects that I'm working on developing, it will tell me exactly how many milliseconds it takes for any particular frame to load. That means I can go in, change my plugin settings, go back in and test it and see if my speed has improved or gotten worse. And this has become a very useful tool in uh, basically optimizing and improving your plugins. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow me on GitHub for coding updates, AE scripts to help support and buy products like this false color plugin. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram for live updates. And if you're not already a member of our Discord server, that will be in the description as well. You can join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. The link for that is in the description uh, to become a YouTube supporter. So, simple setup. All you have to do is download Adobe After Effects CC 2022. And of course, you could use this for other purposes. Like, if you have a script which does a ton of things, it might help uh, kind of decipher how long a frame takes after the script is done running. But the main reason to use this is really just to see how much you can improve upon the speed of your plugin. So at the bottom here of any timeline or sequence, uh, or sorry, composition, you have your frame render time. And you can also load the frame render time panel. And if you have multiple layers set up, it will display the render time uh, for those specific layers uh, whenever they're appearing. So all we have to do is work on our plugin like we normally were. Maybe I'm applying false color. And I can see this is, I believe, 4K footage, yes. So 4K footage, this loaded in 49 milliseconds, 49 milliseconds. That's a little too quick for 4K footage, and that's because I need to purge my memory. It's already rendered these frames, so it's actually taking 49 milliseconds to load that already created frame. If I load a frame that hasn't been cached already, we're looking more around 200, 150 milliseconds. So that's actually a secondary thing. If you already have a frame cached, now I go to that frame, Sometimes it will load faster. Other times, I guess it loads the, the, the normal way. But this frame render time really allows you to then go back in and maybe you're working on a particular feature which you notice slows things down. Be like, okay, well, I can go back into my code. I'm going to adjust my code and see if me changing the, maybe the edge smooth in this case will improve the load speed. And in this case, it's generally about the same. But there are lots of other tutorials I have on optimization of math, uh, and ways you can optimize your plugins to make them run faster. And this will allow you to directly see the results of that. But that's really it for this tutorial. I just wanted to go over how awesome this new feature in CC 2022 is. You can see the frame render time for any frame. Uh, and you can even stack effects. And it, it will tell you the render time for the entirety of everything that it has to load. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow me on GitHub, AE Scripts, where you can check out this plugin in particular and help support me. And uh, also down there, follow me on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and hang out with a lot of our awesome and knowledgeable members. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Link in the description. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.